Okay, we've got some standard form work exam questions here. I've got to do nine pages of questions. That's as quick as I can, just to give you some demonstrations. If it's got uh, this symbol, there's no calculator. Some of these questions are calculator based. I'll show you how to use a calculator for them. Let's start with this question. Write this number in standard form. So this is a small number. Um, standard form is something of the, the form something times 10 to the power of something. So this is going to be 1 times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 places. We have to make decimal point to make it smaller. So that's times 10 to the power of minus 1. Uh, got to write this as an ordinary number. So 5 times 10 to the 13 is 5 followed by 13 zeros. There's 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Probably a good idea to put some commas in to help the person count in your answer. Okay, right, this is an ordinary decimal. So we've got 5.28, 10 to the minus 3, so um, it can help to put some zeros in here and just count 1, 2, to 3, that's where the decimal point needs to move to, so we've got 0 0.00528. Um, squaring this, give the answer instead of form, so you've got 7 times 10 cubed times 7 times 10 to the power of 3. The 7 times the 7 is 49. 10 to the power of 3 times 10 to the power of 3 is 10 to the power of 6. That's not quite in standard form. If you got to that part, you would have got one mark, but you need to change that into standard form because it has to be a number between 1 and 10. So we take out a power of 10 to get 4.9 times 10 to the 7. Another one, writing in ordinary numbers. Again, if we put some zeros in, minus 3, so we're going to move it 1 to three spaces to here. So we've got 0 0.00246. Try to remember that negative powers mean small numbers, 0, 0.000 something, and large powers mean large numbers. So we've got to do this division, 1.8 times 10 to the 5 divided by 9 times 10 squared. Well, lots of ways of doing this. I like to think about this as being just 18 if that's 18 I've taken a power of 10 out of here so that's 10 to the power of 4 so those two are the same number that's in standard form that's not quite and if I do that division 18 divided by 9 is 2 and 10 to the 4 um, divided by 10 to the 2 is 10 squared so you end up with 2 times 10 squared uh, the answer should be in standard form so 2 times 10 to the power of 2 Okay, a tricky looking question, but really this is just w one number divided by itself, so the answer is just one. This one here, um, subtracting powers instead of form. Um, for most most people, probably the best way to do this is just to change it out of standard form, so you get four million, four times ten to the six. To take away four times ten to the five would be four hundred thousand. And that gives you uh, three million six hundred thousand. Change it back into standard form: three point six times ten to the one, two, three, four, five, six. Another way of thinking about it is you could change this to forty times ten to the five. If we make them both the same power of ten, then we can just do this part. So you get 36 times 10 to the 5 and then convert it back into proper standard form 3.6 times 10 to the 6. Okay, and the one we've got to do division. So if I change that to 63 times 10 to the 3 by taking a power of 10 out of here and times in the 63 by it, um, then my 63 divided by 21 is just 3 times 10 to the 3. So that goes into that 3 times 
and you're just left with a 10 to the power of 3, so 3 times 10 to the power of 3. The di calculate difference between these two, so we're subtracting again 4.8 times 10 squared and uh, 4.8 times 10 to the minus 1. I'll show you two ways of doing this. If we just do the no change it to ordinary numbers, that's going to be 480, because 10 squared is 100, so it's going to be 480. 10 to the minus 1 is actually 0 0.48, because we're moving the decimal point 1 this place, one, way th one point this way. And then if we subtract those, we get 479.52. Um, uh, leave your answers as ordinary numbers, so that's OK. That's probably actually the best way of doing it, if you're going to leave your answer as an ordinary number. We could convert one of these into the other type of power 10, but if it's going to be left as an ordinary number, there's no point. OK, first of the calculator questions. Now, this is actually um, a mixture of standard form and um, probability. Uh, a fair coin, a ticket lands and wins a national lottery is, is this probability. Fair coin five times in a row is, the, is a half times a half times a half times a half times a half because to get every time you get a, a fair coin lands on the heads is a half. So five times in a row is going to be a half to the power of uh, five. So one over thirty-two, which equals 0.03125. How many more times like is B than A? So we've got to do that 0 0.03125 divided by what's 7.15 times 10 to the minus 8. That's how many times that goes into that, so that's how many times more likely it is. So if we do, because this is calculator based, we just type, we've got that answer there, and we're going to divide by 7.15. And then we need this this button here. On older calculators, this is the EXP button. It's pretty much in the same place for most calculators. And then we put negative 8, and that gives us the answer 4370.62.9371. Putting that back into standard form to two significant figures, well, we're going to be looking at these two digits here, and that's going to change to 44. Four. It's going to be 4.4 4 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. OK, this question is a 1 and 3 mark question. Again, calculator based. Right, this number in standard form doesn't require a calculator. That's just 7.5. And then we move the decimal point from here all the way to here. So that's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 places. So that's 7.5 times 10 to the 18 for one mark. OK, now we've got a little bit of a percentage question in here. The number is 10% higher than the previous estimate. So the previous estimate, whatever that is, times by 1.1, that's how you increase by 10%, is 7.5 times 10 to the 18. So our previous estimate is going to be 7.5 times 10 to the 18 divided by 1.1. So type that into the calculator, 7.5. 5 times 10 to the 18 divided by 1.1 and we get this answer we're going to leave it in standard form to two significant figures so 6.8 are the first two significant figures so we just block it off after the 8 and that's times 10 to the 18 OK, human blood is in the ratio blood cells 1 to 700. Uh, now this is actually quite a tricky question, you've got a lot going on here. Um, 700 to the nearest 100, so we are looking at errors in our calculations. So to the nearest 100, that means this could have been anywhere between 650 and 750. And as that means that blood cells to one significant figure, so this could be anywhere between 2.5 times 10 to the 13 to 3.5 times 10 to 13. 
So the minimum of white blood cells that spans blood give you a standard form. So for every one white blood cell there are 700 um, red blood cells. So to find out the number of white blood cells we need to do the red blood divided by uh, the ratio 700. Okay, But we want to find the minimum number so we need to make this calculation as small, po small as possible. To make that as small as possible we need the minimum value for the top bit and the maximum value for the bottom bit. That gives us the smallest answer. So the minimum um, for the red blood cells is 2.5 times 10 to the 13 and the, and the maximum uh, for the 700 is 750 and we divide those 2.5 times 10 to the 13 divided by 750 gives us uh, 3.3 .3 recurring times 10 to the 10. So we'll just leave it as that. Okay, uh, work out the value of 3000 squared gives you an answer to standard form. So this is actually a calculator question, don't really need a calculator for this. 3000 squared is going to be 9 million. And that's 9 times 10 to the 6. Because it's 6 places after the 9. Write this in standard form. So that's going to be 7.53. How many places the decimal point moved? 1, 2, 3 to get between the 7 and the 5. So that's times 10 to the minus 3.